Well, this NAV Canada forecast chart is specific to pilots, but we look into it for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's like a, a 1980s version of a forecast map for our systems. Low pressure over Hudson Bay. I marked moving backwards or southwestward at 30 k's an hour. These black arrows are showing that it's pretty much spinning neutral quasi-stationary over northern Hudson Bay. Pressure gradient, 1,000 millibars, 100 kilopascals, or 29.50 inches of mercury for those who are using their calculators and mathematics. Tivins cap is casing westward towards the Manitoba border. A few clouds between 5,000 and 8,000 feet, which makes for a very pleasant overnight Tuesday going into Wednesday. 8 o'clock in the morning, we welcome that warm front low pressure system over northwest Ontario. A few clouds between the border and Timmins Capuscation once again, 5 to 8,000 feet. The public forecast looks quite different from this, by the way. First thing in the morning, Lake Superior, broken clouds, 10 to 20,000 feet. You could see a thunderstorm cloud as high as 40,000 feet for that location. So, hope you have a great Wednesday over into that location. Tuesday overnight, we translate that chart into a public forecast now. If you remember the cold fronts from the prior segment, there could be a shower for Capitals Casing and Hearst. Breezy winds from the southwest, 15 to 20 k's an hour. You could see that isolated shower remain for Moosonee. Breezy there as well. Tim is sharing the same wind flow, uh, 12 to 18 from the southwest. Temperatures for Tutla Gang, a very wonderful and comfortable 14 degrees, which is quite nice. First thing Wednesday morning, we ship the winds around to the northwest from Moosonee. Maybe a shower left over with some variable clouds. We introduced about one millimeter of rain for almost everyone. The only exception is Matheson and Iroquois Falls where five millimeters are possible. Temperatures are quite nice as well. We warm it up a little bit from the overnight to about 16, 17 degrees. We hold on to the southwest winds for Capus Casing Timmins. By the way, the forecast detail says for Cochrane, southeast quadrant is going to be rain. Meanwhile, Swither Rock Falls west is going to be shower. So the showers technically could be defined as convective rainfall and slight changes in intensity of rainfall every few minutes within about a 10 to 20 minute period. Going into the afternoon, we introduce some more sunshine and clouds. We turn off the rain valve for Moosey, but a gusty wind from the northwest and a very generous temperature, 22 degrees. One millimeter from Hearst all the way down to Matheson. Westerly winds for Timmins and Capuscasing, but these temperatures with the rainfall, a very pleasant and comfortable 25 degrees.